So as promised, um, I was going to talk about your store cupboard and how we can store things more effectively and utilise what we've got. So here it is, this is my uh, kitchen cupboard. Um, obviously a little bit tidier than it normally is because I've been doing this video. So just to go through, these are all my uh, supplements here. And as you can see, quite highly focused on the digestion. So I've got some colon care and psyllium there flax seeds, um, some of my um, essential fatty acids, um, similes, which is great for digestion, bee pollen um, for hay fever sufferers. Um, I've also got some vitamin C at the back there, um, which I did a vitamin C flush earlier on in the year. Again, I'm going to put all these on my Facebook page. I've got some um, little sash sachets of um, sort of forever fibre there, which are great in times when people are feeling a little bit sluggish um, great to help with the digestion probiotics which um, i do put a lot in food um, or sprinkle over salads things like that and also um i store in here my uh, coffee enemas which i am going to do a little video about which one of my clients has requested so i will talk about that up there I've got some maca powder which if I'm feeling a bit a little bit sluggish or tired I, I use that um, and I've got some probiotics there which are probiotics especially for for women which again I'm going to talk about that and some organic wheatgrass which I have a little shot every day just to boost immunity and make me feel a little bit better so in here I call this my dried um, cupboard so as you can see I've got lots of little uh, Tupperwares there um dried chickpeas these are absolutely great in, if you you know if you're thinking about weight control instead of eating a lot of nuts and seeds and things like that um i dry these out and they can be i think these are chili ones what i i did and i'll again put the recipe some dried celery there dried beetroot and i think it's mushrooms uh, oh no another bag of um, nuts and seeds there again these are all different sorts of fruit which i've dehydrated which i'll show um bananas these are actually great for for mums that have got little ones um uh, which can be dried and then used at a later date for like porridge and things like that and same with the dried apples and raisins and the goji berries at the top um here i've got um breadcrumbs these are uh, um, gluten free uh croutons again almonds pine nuts and pumpkin seeds which are great for putting on salads and I've got a little bit of a seed mix there as well. And some cheese seeds, which I put in my water. Um, again, you can put in your porridge or in your salads. This is just my hot drinks cupboard. Um, again, tea, uh, coffee. I've also put um, what that used to be a sugar tin, but sugar's banned from our house. So it's a chamomile tea pot now. Um, and some green tea there, which is great for... A good source of antioxidants and it keeps your energy levels up as well and my chamomile tea just if I'm feeling a little, a little bit anxious or trying to get some sleep at this time for everybody so get some chamomile tea in you and this is what I cook with my coconut oil which should not be stored in the fridge it should be stored in a cool uh, dry cupboard uh, okay thanks any questions again just pop in the comments below and um, I can talk you through it if you need any advice on dehydrating um, I will be putting some videos on here about that too.